Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. You know, I'm just sitting here thinking I'm tired, didn't get much sleep last night, and I'm just thinking that relationships are tough. One of the toughest things about relationships is just being able to tolerate other people's quirks, you know. Oh yeah, I got my shortcomings and stuff. But my wife, I tell you, she keeps me up at night. I mean, she snores. Like, she snores so loud, it's like a chainsaw cutting through a tree. You talking to some... Man, I'm like, oh my goodness, girl. I'm gonna get some sleep tonight. She wake me up out of my sleep. I'm thinking like I'm being attacked by a herd of gorilla donkeys or something, you know? Yeah. And she's one of those people that like to wrap up in the covers and leave you on the end of the bed freezing to death, you know? Yeah, she's a beautiful woman and I love her, but boy, tell you what. And I find out you women are perpetrators too. Oh uh, yeah, y'all know y'all know how to hide them little poops <laughs> till you get married. Then <laughs> all you hear is fuck. I mean, man, my wife is cutesy and everything, but man, she can fart and peel the paint off the wall. I'm like baby, I don't walk in the room and it's like a straight death trap. I'm like girl, did you just eat a? boo-boo sandwich or something <laughs> speaking of that remember back in the day when you used to have to play it off and cough <laughs> when you fart just to try to hide a fart now these days man you have to fart just to hide a cough I don't want nobody to know you got that Rona definitely don't want to do that but man I'm glad all that's over the nail salons were closed, and the hair salons, and the barber shop. Man, it was getting pretty <laughs> ugly out there. I mean, ugly, literally, for real. Especially for you ladies. And y'all walking around there looking like wildebeest. Glad all that's over. And that homeschooling, I was having to teach online classes. Man, the worst thing about that was doggone kids were getting on my nerves so bad I wanted to send them home <laughs> but they was already there <laughs> yeah being locked up at home was so bad that my dog was looking at me like you see that's why I was chewing up all the furniture while y'all was out But you know, the real struggle of modern life is these days is when you're out at the store and you hear somebody talking and you, you're just like, oh, hey, how you doing? You start up a conversation and you find out that they just talking to another person on some airport. That's awkward. And speaking of technology, have you ever dealt with that autocorrect and have it ruin your conversation? I was texting a friend, one of my homeboys, talking about, yeah, yeah, okay, man, I'm gonna bring you sandwich by the house later on. But the autocorrect changed it to, I'm gonna bring you a Spanish by the house later on. Man, can you imagine the surprise on homeboy's face when I get to his house with a 12 inch spicy Italian sandwich and he's all dressed up like a Mexican in a Mexican sombrero hat, talking about some, where is she at? You know, I just thought about something. The worst time to have a heart attack is doing a game of charades. That's crazy. Well, I'm just going to let y'all know. I had a little luck, and I just signed a big deal with Netflix for $17 a month, and I can watch all the TV I want. Anyway, y'all. It's video night, y'all have a nice afternoon. I'm just crazy. <laughs>